Hi loves! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full face of my Sephora favorites in honor of the savings event. I wanted to show you guys all the products that I recommend. And I want to give a huge thank you to Sephora for sponsoring today's video. If you've been wanting to splurge or try out some new goodies, now is the time because the savings event is here and from October 27th through November 6th, the entire Sephora collection is going to be 30% off. And during that time, Rouge members are going to get 20% off as well with code time to save if you're shopping online. But but of course you can shop in stores or you can do a curbside pickup which is always nice and from October 31st through November 6th VIB members are going to get 15% off and insiders are going to get 10% off. If you're not a part of the Beauty Insider program click the link down below in the description box it is free easy to join and perfect if you're going to be shopping the savings event. So as always I will have all the products that I mentioned linked for you guys down below in the description box if you are interested in adding any of these to cart and definitely let me know your favorites because I'm going to be placing another order so I can definitely do a part two to this video if you guys are interested and show you guys the goodies that I'm picking up. So grab a snack, get cozy, and let's get into it and have some girl time. Of course we're going to start with the eyes and one of my all-time favorite products is the Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer. To be honest anything Rare Beauty is definitely worth trying but this is such a good eye base. It makes your shadows pop and last all day and I love the formula of it. It just gives a nice smooth even canvas for eyeshadow. So I always like to apply it in the and just blend it in with a brush. It kind of dries down too to like a nice soft matte finish. And I use this pretty much almost every time I do my eyeshadow. For eyeshadows, I have two palettes to mention. The first one is a newer favorite for me, but I have been dabbling into this nonstop, and that is the Patrick Ta Major Dimensions 3 palette. If you love neutrals, this is the palette for you. You get cool tones, you get warm tones, it's all matte. You get two cream shadows in here. The white and the black color in here are incredible, and two of my favorite shades in the palette. I feel like if you love neutrals, this is just a staple, and it's a very versatile palette, so I have been loving this. The quality is so lovely. And another one that's also a bit newer for me. I just recently picked this up and I've also been using this and I am in love with it. It's the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Palette. I wasn't able to get my hands on this last year. So this year when he brought it back, I was like, I am not missing out on it because these glitters in here are stunning. And honestly, that's the main reason why I got this palette. So if you want a neutral palette with some very wearable, versatile glitters, this is it. I love the quality of this. They're also really smooth, just nice eyeshadows that you can just pretty much use for every day or even a special occasion. The glitter makes the palette so much more special. And I'm going to start off with this color right here. I'm going to put that all over the lid. I also really like the size of this palette and the glitters are just stunning. Definitely my favorite part of the palette for sure. I've been loving glitter this year with all of my looks. It just adds the prettiest pop. Then I'm going to go into this soft brown. I'm going to apply that as my transition shade. I think these build up really nicely. It was actually between this and the new Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette. I'm still debating if I want to get that because I love those neutral nude tones. So I feel like the Makeup by Mario one is super similar to that, like as far as the tones, but I love the glitters in here. So that's really what sold me on this one. I'm gonna go into this brown up top with a different fluffy brush. I'm gonna start applying that on the outer lid and also a bit into my crease. I'm gonna start applying that brown on my lid as well to make this super smoky. I think these have a really nice buildable formula. Taking a little bit more of that transition shade, tapping off the excess and just really emphasizing that crease a little bit more. I think the mattes in here are great, but like I said, the glitter in here is what makes this palette so special. So if you're just really into mattes, I would say definitely go with the Patrick Ta Major Dimensions palette because that's just a staple in a palette that you can use for anything. It is so luxe. Now this is the fun part, the glitter, of course. I'm gonna use this shade right here and I'm gonna apply that all over the lid. And what's nice about these is that you don't even have to spray your brush or anything. And it's also a buildable formula, just like the mattes. So you can keep it really light and pretty or you can really amp it up and add more and make the glitter super sparkly or even more sparkly. Cause I feel like even when you add a little bit, you still get a really pretty effect. I mean, come on, are you kidding? That is everything. And if you don't want to concentrate the glitter as much, you can use a fluffy brush to just fluff the glitter wherever you like, but I prefer to make it 
pop a little bit more so I like the effect that it gives with either my finger or with a flat shader brush love you can even mix in some glitters I'm gonna do this one later on in the inner corners but that is pretty much it for the look it is so easy it's so pretty and this is perfect for anything so let me do mascara lashes and we will move into the skin so i'll be right back i wanted to mention the fenty beauty diamond bomb in the shade how many carrots you guys knew this was coming this is one of my all-time favorite glitters i know technically it's like highlighter or something that you can use for your body but i love it as an eyeshadow because it is huge so this is gonna last you for forever but it gives the most gorgeous glitter effect kind of similar to what i have on my eyes right now but it's a little bit more icy so if you just want one single glitter this is the one that i recommend it is such high quality and it looks so sparkly and beautiful with any eyeshadow and i also wanted to mention that this brush set that i picked up i actually got this to be included in a giveaway but i wanted to mention it because you guys know i'm obsessed with makeup brushes i feel like if you have the right makeup tools you can make any products work and you can never have enough makeup brushes in my opinion so i got the sephora pro brush set it's an ap set with face and eye brushes and again the sephora collection is going to be 30 percent off so it is the perfect time to snag up some goodies or a good brush set and i wanted to get this because i always usually include brushes in my giveaways and i just feel like this is kind of an essential for everyday makeup and i actually have a sephora collection brush set that i got years ago when i was in college and i still have some of the brushes here in my collection and they're in mint condition so they're really good quality it's a splurge but you're gonna have them for forever so love these and i really am obsessed with makeup brushes i just love trying out new ones and i continue to build my brush collection because i love the variety but anyways let's move into the skin now i'm going to start off with the rare beauty four in one always an optimist mist if you love something hydrating and glowy this is it but it's very natural and it has a very fine mist it's super lightweight it's not too much but it's just enough and i love this before or after makeup because it also does a nice job if your makeup ever looks a little bit heavy or cakey just thinning it out and making it look super seamless on the skin and i'm using a mattifying primer today so i want to make sure my skin is nice and hydrated so this is perfect before makeup gives a really pretty just light healthy glow while that marinates a little bit let's talk about the pore eclipse primer from milk makeup i love this whenever i just want a nice smooth matte base i usually apply this wherever needed around my pores my t-zone and i like it because it blurs and mattifies but it's not a drying formula and you can actually see a difference between when you apply it versus when you don't so this is really good i've had this for forever too so i do find that a little bit goes a long way you don't need a lot to get that effect and it's amazing under a lot of my favorite foundations so i'm gonna use this today and you can kind of like instantly see a difference so I love this formula I really like this line of milk makeup the pore eclipse line it's really nice I'm definitely gonna hit right in between my brows you can see that difference it's like magic I love it kind of like to let that sit in for a little bit too before going in with my foundation so that it has some time to dry down and fully absorb into the skin I wait about like a minute or so for foundation, I am still obsessed with the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. I have this one in the shade 250 Light Medium Neutral. It's a little bit too tan for me at the moment because I have no color to me, but I can usually still make it work with my other products. But I am in love with the formula, the coverage, the wearability. Everything about this foundation is gorgeous. And the lasting power on this is insane. So I love this one. And then I wanted to mention two skin tints. I have a video on my favorite skin tints if you guys are interested that are all high end. But the Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint is perfect if you want something hydrating with actually still good decent coverage and then i love the fenty beauty eavesdrop blurring skin tint for a more soft matte skin tint both of these give coverage but they still feel super lightweight and they're just perfect for everyday makeup so these are the two favorites in the hourglass i'm in the shade nine and then in fenty i usually mix the shade eight or ten but i actually feel like shade nine would be perfect but both of those are amazing, but today I'm going to go with House Labs because this is just too good. And you guys know I usually like to work in sections. I rub it in with my fingers first and then I blend it in with a brush. And this just never disappoints this foundation. It looks good every single time. And somehow it still looks like skin, but it gives the most beautiful coverage. There's a lot of good ingredients in here too. Good skincare. It's just truly an A plus foundation. I recommend this to everyone. It has more of a natural, kind of natural dewy finish, but it's not too much. And I think it also comes down to how you prep your skin beforehand. 
see how pretty like it's very thin too so it still looks very healthy when you have it on it doesn't look like you're wearing a heavy foundation but it still gives you really nice coverage i feel like if you are a bride you would love this foundation let's do a little cream bronzer i'm gonna mention the rare beauty bronzer stick because this really is one of the most blendable easy to work with bronzer sticks i love the color happy soul so i'm gonna apply this and what i usually like to do you can apply it directly to your skin or you can just apply this on a brush and then work it into your skin so either way it has just a good formula regardless so i blend it in and kind of just blend the edges around with my foundation brush it gives a really nice little wash of color without being too much and then i'll show you if you apply it directly to your skin it blends really nicely as well without lifting your foundation underneath see how pretty i'm gonna apply concealer don't you worry i want to do the bronzer and blush first sometimes i do that and then i find that the concealer just looks a little bit more seamless if you do it after but we're gonna get to that I picked up a brand new Rare Beauty liquid blush in the shade Bliss specifically because I was like pretty much scraping the edges of mine. This is my favorite color out of all the Rare Beauty blushes. It is the lightest shade and the only color where I feel like you can actually be very generous with the amount of product that you use and it's still going to be so soft and pretty and this just gives the most gorgeous light natural flush. Just I love this color. It's a perfect pink. It's not too bright. It's not too light. It is just perfection with the other rare beauty blushes i feel like you need less than a dot but with this color again you can be really generous with it and it's still gonna look so light and wearable but you can also build it up as well if you want a little bit more of a pink kind of moment but i love this shade okay cute now we need concealer my under eyes are like screaming for concealer i want to mention too there has been so many good concealers nowadays so this was a little difficult but these are the ones that i've been using the most recently starting with the house labs triclone skin tech concealer this is a little bit thicker than the foundation it has more of a whipped consistency but it's still super creamy and it melts into the skin and i like this one because it has a little bit more of a natural finish but there's very minimal creasing on my under eyes whenever i use this so that's why i love it i think it's the formula is beautiful and by the way i'm in the color 23 light medium golden and i love this shade gives a little bit of brightness but it's still pretty neutral on the under eyes in love this one is just really really good Another one that I really like if you prefer something more hydrating, Tower 28 Concealer. I got this one in the color MDR and this one is really nice because it's more hydrating and it's more of like a serum concealer but it still has good coverage. And I find that with this less is more and it actually looks better when you use less product. I always like to start in the inner corner and then kind of just work the product and fan it out towards the middle of my under eyes. So you can see the finish is a little bit more hydrating so comes down to whatever you like, but I think they're both really nice and they wear beautifully throughout the day. Now for powders, I have a couple that I wanted to mention. I have so many favorites of in each category, I swear. This was like kind of difficult to narrow down, but the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder is one of the most beautiful, smoothing under eye powders. I actually recently got a bigger size, but I decided to include it in a giveaway that I had. So I need to get a bigger one of these. This is just my little mini empty that I have, but I wanted to give it an honorable mention because it is such a good luxe powder and it looks truly like a veil on your under eyes. I also really love the one size ultra pink ultimate setting powder if you love pink blush i think you would love this it's not super brightening it's definitely a more neutral kind of pink powder but it makes the blush on your cheeks look super seamless like with the under eye and the blush it just makes it look really blended and airbrushed and this is super matte so if you like a matte powder the one size one is it. it comes in other shades as well but i really like the ultra pink and then recently i've been loving the milk makeup pore eclipse translucent loose setting powder this is extremely blurring and it just gives the most gorgeous soft matte feel without being too drying so yeah like i said i really like this pore eclipse line from milk and this powder looks so gorgeous so i'm gonna use this one today oh look at how good that looks I'm in love with this formula and what I like to do is pretty much just press the powder in and just continue to press it until it looks completely blended and seamless on the under eyes. I pretty much just keep going back and forth. 
put a little bit of whatever is left over on my t-zone there's something just so therapeutic about using your favorite products and doing glam it's like top five one of the best feelings i'm just gonna set my makeup i'm gonna use another powder because i usually do two powders in one but i'm gonna apply this one too everywhere just because like i said it is so smooth for pressed powder, one of my most repurchased is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. I love this for touch-ups or just for setting the makeup. Usually whenever I do that my double powder method, I always like to use this. So I'm going to apply this throughout the rest of my face as well. And I always like to press this into the skin versus rubbing so that it just gives that full effect. I'm gonna do a little touch up on the brows. Rare Beauty Brow Gel is just really that girl. Like it keeps your brows in place all day. I love the tiny brush. Okay, I'm gonna finish up my eyes and then I actually want to add some more bronzer and blush because I have a couple ones to talk about. So out of all the high-end liners that I have tried, I think the KVD Tattoo Pencil Liner is by far the best. And one of those where you don't have to constantly be reapplying. I love the color Trooper too because it is super black and I'm not saying that you won't have to, well for me, like my ice water a lot and I'm using eye drops constantly so I do find myself reapplying this at least once throughout the day but compared to others this one has the best lasting power like I said when I apply it also what I like about it is that it doesn't make my eyes water it's a super pigmented very black eyeliner so I'm gonna apply this I'm also gonna do a little inner corner highlight as well I love the Rare Beauty Enlighten highlighter for the inner corners so this isn't really glittery it's more so one of those wet metallic-y highlighters and I love this I mean you could use it as an eyeshadow but I love it in the inner corner because it gives such a nice pop and bright look so I'm gonna apply this just to show you how beautiful it is I recently got another one because the one that I had before shattered but this is another staple for me see how intense and pretty that is you don't even have to spray your brush you're just gonna get that effect instantly like if you love a shimmery white inner corner this is the best and let's go back into the ethereal eyes palette because why not and i'm going to take this glitter shade right here and i'm going to add that over top for a little bit more of a sparkle and i'm applying more glitter because i cannot get enough okay let's talk about more blushes because i'm obsessed with pink blush or just blush in general so another one that i didn't use today but that i've used in so many videos is the makeup by mario soft pop plumping blush veil this one is in perfect pink and i think this is truly one of the most gorgeous cool tone pinks very wearable has really nice dewy finish and it's also really long lasting so when you apply this and then you set it with a regular powder you're still going to have that blush peeking through so you don't even have to layer this with other blushes so i love this one but i feel like you guys to get the color perfect pink because it really is the perfect pink so love and then also another favorite patrick ta blush duos i really like the color she's that girl this is one of those like just really pretty neutral pinks but these come in tons of beautiful shades i love the cream and the powder duo i always like to do cream and then powder over top i've tried his method of doing powder and then cream but for me it's just a little bit too dewy like i love a glowy cheek but i just like it to be set down but i think maybe if you have dry skin you will love that method on you and sometimes when i do that i do find that it lifts my foundation so i'd rather just do cream and then powder but regardless his duos have such a gorgeous formula super blendable and i love all the variety of shades this one again is she's that girl but today i'm going to use something a little bit different another favorite house labs bio radiant powder gel highlighter this one is in rose quartz and this is one of those colors that i use pretty much over any of my blushes whenever i want a pretty kind of baked blush look so i'm going to use this today because it gives you some color while also giving you some glow so i pretty much kind of use this as a blush topper but it is the most beautiful smooth formula it's not glittery and it looks good over so many other blush combos I'm just gonna apply that over the Rare Beauty Bliss shade just to emphasize that a bit more. And look, that glow, it just gets me every single time and how smooth and buttery it applies. It also builds up really nicely too. So if you want a super pink glowy cheek, this is it. So technically it's a highlighter, but I feel like with the tint, it kind of just reminds me of a baked blush. Put a little bit on my nose. 
And let's apply some more bronzer. One of my tried and trues is the Sunstalker Instant Warmth Bronzer in Shady Biz from Fenty. I really like this color specifically because it's just not too warm. It's very smooth and it goes on like butter on the skin. So I'm gonna just emphasize again that cream blush that I did underneath just a little bit. And for lips, I have two favorite lip liners, Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. This is just truly an iconic nude. I really like Charlotte Tilbury's formula because it does last really well and it glides on the lips. I'll show you guys this color because it is one of my favorite nudes. It works with a lot of other more cool tone neutral nudes in my collection. You see that color? It's not too warm. It's just a good neutral iconic nude, truly. It really is just that neutral iconic nude and then rare beauty kind words lip liner they have tons of really pretty shades in these i actually really love the darker colors too like the more browns but the shade wise is my go-to for all of my pinks and nudes and this is a little bit deeper i'll put this up top so you can see it compared to iconic nude it's a little bit darker than iconic nude but it's under that same family of like neutral kind of lip liners you see what i mean it's a little bit deeper but it still has that similar kind of vibe i'm gonna go with this one today wise just cannot get enough the dark brown that she has in this one too it's really good okay love and then i have a new gloss you guys know i have raved about the fenty gloss bombs for years this is my favorite high-end lip gloss of all time i think it just in general this is my favorite lip gloss ever they recently launched a new shade i got it in champ stamp fantasy this is beautiful it has like the most beautiful sparkle and the gloss bombs are really just top tier the smell the formula the shades it doesn't get any better than this so i'm gonna just top this over the liner you don't even need a lipstick with these. Just top it over your favorite lip liner and you're gonna get the most gorgeous, glossy, glittery finish, but it's so smooth on the lips. Like, I just can't. A moment of silence for Fenty Gloss Bombs. This is a really good color. Like, Sweet Mouth is one, another one of my favorites because it's like a light baby pink. This one's really nice. For setting sprays, I also have a ton of favorites. I recently just did a shorts on my favorite high-end setting sprays, but I'm going to mention these two right here again. Rare Beauty. This is great after makeup if you just want to kind of thin your products out and make it look very skin-like. I usually like to use this before I go in with a super mattifying spray, but I love the one size Until Dawn. This is intense. I usually save this for special occasions because of how intense it is, but it really works. And I think it's one the best so i'm debating do i want to do a little little dewy and then a little matte let's do it let's do a little combo today and just let that dry and then i'll top it off with the one size and we're done mm, that's a good one a while i kind of let that marinate a little bit into the skin i wanted to shout out another powder that i really love the lys triple fix translucent setting powder this is good if you want a kind of very neutral mattifying powder it's not as matte as the one from charlotte tilbury but it still gives you a very comfortable matte finish i recommend this maybe if you have more dry skin and you're looking for a kind of mattifying setting powder that isn't drying this one is it so i'm actually just going to show you typically after i do my makeup and i set everything there might be a little bit of kind of like a do and if you want to slightly mattify that without really adding any extra coverage or an extra heavy layer of makeup this is a nice powder to do that with i also enjoy this for touch-ups and overall i think it's just a really good kind of natural mattifying powder lys is just a really great brand in general as well and they make a lot of goodies that are amazing so yeah I had to give this an honorable mention because I've also repurchased this so many times. I kind of just go back and forth between this one and Charlotte Tilbury depending on how much of a matte finish I really want, but they're both amazing. So that completes my full face of Sephora favorites. Don't forget to let me know your favorites down below in the comments. I'm already thinking of other things to add to cart as we speak because I definitely forgot a couple things and I would love to try out things that you guys love as well. So let us know. And thank you once again to Sephora for working with me in today's video. I love you guys and I cannot wait to see very soon in my next one. Bye!